everyone, welcome into my channel, Colleen C. To Serendipity, I'm Colleen. Today is January 30th, 2023, and I would like to bring you this day in history. On January 30th, 1920, Jiro Masato, 1975 to 1952, forms a Tojo Cork. Kaijo, a business that make a business that makes cork in Hiroshima, Japan. Just over a decade later, the company produces the its first automobile and eventually changes its name to Mazda. Today, Mazda is known for its affordable quality performance vehicles. In 1931, the company lost, launched the Mazda Go a three-wheeled vehicle that resembled a motorcycle with a cargo carrier at the back. The company's car development plans were halted during World War II and the, bo and the bombing of Hiroshima. In 1950, Mazda began making small four-wheeled trucks. The company launched its first passenger car, the R360 Coupe in 1960 in Japan. Seven years later, Mazda debuted the first rotary engine car in Cos the Cosmo Sport 110S. Mazda entered the American market in 1970 with the R100 Coupe, the first mass production rotary powered car in the U.S. In 1978, the Mazda RX-7 an affordable peak performance sports car debuted. The following year, the Ford Motor Company took a 25% stake in the company. In 1989, at Chicago's Auto Show, the Mazda unveiled the MX-5 Malta, the two-door sports car Miata sorry the two-door sports car carrying a starting price tag of $13,800 according to Mazda the concept of the car was affordable to buy and use lightweight Jinba IT rider and horse as one handled and classic roadster looks, handling and classic roadster looks. In 2000, Guinness Book of World Records named the Miata the best-selling two-seated convertible in history. In 1991, another milestone for the company, a Mazda 787B won the 24-hour of Le Mans race becoming the first rotary powered car as well as the first Japanese made auto to do so. However, Mazda was impacted by the economic slump in Japan in the 1990s and in 1996, Ford took a controlling stake in the automaker and rescued it from potential bankruptcy. The two companies shared manufacturing facilities in several countries along with the vehicles, platform, and other resources. In, 1990, in 2008, Ford, which had been hurt by the global economic crisis and slumping auto sales, relinquished control of Mazda by selling 20% of its controlling stake for around $540 million. Also that year, General Motors showed, sold its stake in Japan-based Kawasaki Motors. In, the, in 2009, Mazda celebrated the 20th anniversary of the MX-5 Miata, whose sales by then had topped nearly 900,000 and which had won almost 180 major automotive awards. Now I'd like to bring you another This Day in History. On January 30th, 1994, 
the American speed skater Dan, Dan Jensen set a new world record of 35.76 at the World Sprint Champion in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Born in 1965 in Wisconsin, Jensen had been the youngest skater to compete in the 1994 Winter Olympics in Sarajevo, where he came in fourth place in the 500 meter event. Favored to win in Cal Calgary in 1988, Jensen was devastated by the death of his sister Jane from leukemia on the day he was scheduled to race in the 500 meter final. He raced that night in hopes of winning in her honor, but fell 100 meters into the race. Four days later, he fell again during the 1,000 meter event and left Cal Calgary without a medal. In Albertville, France in 1992, Jensen came up short again, finishing fourth in the 500 meter and 26th in the 1,000 meter. In December of 1992, Jensen became the first man ever to skate 500 meters in less than 36 seconds. Then he set a new world record of world record mark of 35.92 seconds in Hammer, Norway. The December, the January 30th, 1993 finished mark, the sixth time that Jensen had ever tied or broke the world record in the 500 meters. He had come to dominate that event in the 1,000 meter in the international competition, but an Olympic medal still eluded him. The next Winter Olympics, Jensen's fourth, were held in 1994 in Lillehammer, Norway. By that time, he had won a overall total seven World Cup titles and set seven world records. After he slipped in the 500 meter skate, it looked like Jensen's hope for Olympic glory had been shattered when he took the ice for the 1000 meter event four days later. However, Jensen turned things around, skating a world record finish of 1 minute 12 seconds point 43 to finally win Olympic gold. He retired from competition after Lillehammer Games. I want to thank you for watching today and I want you to stay safe and stay blessed and remember to smile because I love you but more importantly our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ loves you the most. Alright everybody have a blessed day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everybody. Thank you.